So Dorpaton, you seem so certain with materialism here that you uh, completely screw up physics. Let's start with this quote here. All the astronomy and physics don't point to squat. Daniel is correct. The Big Bang was not the absolute beginning of the universe. This is because it is based on general relativity, which breaks down at the Planck scale. Well, guess what else breaks down at the Planck scale? Space-time does. And you know why this is true? Well, general relativity explains gravity in terms of bent space-time, okay? This means that if you have a model of, the, of gravity which is more fundamental than general relativity, it's going to, by definition, have to be more fundamental than space-time, okay? Now, we have uh, strong and electroweak forces. Electroweak is a combination of EM plus the weak force, obviously. And we were able to generate these models as fields within space and time, okay? And we quantize those. The problem with gravity, of course, is that gravity isn't just a field in space and time. It actually is bent space time which means if we're going to quantize gravity and break it apart into something, the field and the part into something more fundamental than the field, we're by definition going to have to break down space and time into something more fundamental than space and time. This means that the Big Bang, when you go back to the quantum gravity era, there's no space time at that level, okay? It's just not there. This is because gra quantum gravity generates space time, okay? This is, this is your problem. Now, you can say the holographic principle, the way you describe the holographic principle is really, this is it's it's ridiculous. Okay, this uh, what you see it's a uh, hologram occult mystical dribble, which I find to be quite humorous actually, because this would mean that all of our top quantum gravity physicists are occult mystics. Which I find to be quite humorous. I mean that's that's quite something to say that all these people who know what they're talking about are occult mystics. Anyway, even if you were to throw out the holographic principle, you're still going to have to run into this problem because, well, by definition, whatever is at the bottom there is not space-time. It's more fundamental than space-time. You get rid of the holographic principle, you're still going to run into this problem, okay? Now, you think about being what something beyond space-time. It can't be defined by matter or energy either because matter and energy, of course, need space and time to exist in. And so whatever it is at the bottom that we're defining the universe out of, it can't be defined in terms of matter or energy either. And so you take those four things and you know, all physical units come out of that. So whatever is at the bottom here is not actually material at all. It's not defined in terms of physical units. And so this, this perfectly fits into the informationalist paradigm of the universe, but of course you don't want to accept that. And you know I, I've been trying to point this out to you. This is, a, this is just how physics is going here. And the reaction you have is almost, and I'm not going to go and state it all, it's a private message, I, I'm going to respect that, but the problem here is is you're, you're assuming this is all matter and it's not the case, and then when I come along and point out that it's not the case, your reaction is almost anti-scientific in a way. It's, uh, you're trying to say, this is my conclusion, and then any premises that go into this direction are going to, I'm going to throw them out, and if science says one thing, I'm going to say the other, which is which actually sounds like something else we know, doesn't it?